Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the element operators. That is nothing but an exists and also a type. We have already completed about this logical thing and also the comparison. So now we have entered into the element. Now if you try to see here exists operator, there are only two operators which comes under the element. So exists means matches documents that have the specific field. It will try to tell that whether a specific field is present or not in the document, it will try to tell you. Why? Because we already know that our MongoDB, the documents are schemaless documents. So you can add whatever fields you want and also you, you if you don't add the fields also it is okay. So we need we, by using this one it will tell you that what are the, uh, is there any specific field available in the documents or not. And the type also it will tell you that we also know that so for example if you are trying to give the quantity so there is no not mandatory that uh, to give the number only until and unless you have a schema validation. So you can give for quantity string number or string string value or also a number value by using this type operator we can see that we can get the documents which are having only the number field first let's try to check about this existing if i go into this one so here is our thing right so let's say that we have whether find dot pretty let's try to see that find dot pretty okay i will try to do i have added some of the fields for example let's say that <clears throat> We are having here title details and tags for this one also we are having title details and tags so like this we are having titles details and tags right so for this one if you try to see here we are having title details tags and also we are having an extra field that is nothing but an active whereas this document is not having that active field and if you try to see here for another document we are having title details tags and an extra one that is nothing but a description so that means these two documents are having an extra field that is nothing but different fields that two different fields active and also a description whereas the other documents doesn't have those things so now we can use this exist operator to find that the documents which are having only the description for example let's say that for this one also let's try to add a description so here i can write db dot books dot update one and here I can use underscore ID and I can paste this one. So I want to <clears throat> update dollar set and I can use the description here. Okay, sample. Let's try to add some sample. Okay, so update it. Now what I want to do so db dot books dot find again. I will try to find sorry. Let's say db dot books dot find dot pretty. I will try to check dot pretty and here at the bottom you'll be able to see a description was been added and for this one also we are having description and for this one there is no description but we have an extra another new field that is nothing but an active and remaining all books doesn't have any description or active field in their documents now what i will try to run is i will try to run the query in a such a way that db dot books dot find okay so here what is the thing I want to find description so here I can use it here like this where dollar exists okay exists is equal to true so whether it whether this description is having or not true so now we need to have this pretty now if you try to see here what has happened okay the no, mistake is with me only so we need to embed this one also with an curly brace yeah so now if you try to see we are able to get only two documents which is having a description so these two books details only we are having the description so that is the reason we are able to get the details for example if i try to add exists is equal to false okay exists is equal to false now if you try to see here we are able to get all the things which are having which which doesn't have a description now if i want to get something like db dot books dot find of active sorry here i need to add something like this right active okay so here i can use something like dollar exists is equal to true if i try to if i try to do dot pretty and we will get only one document which is having an active field so like this by using this exists operator we can find that whether a particular field is present in the document or not. whichever the particular field matches so we can get those documents and also what what i can do is we can also use in a such a way that 
description okay so description so i will try try to use this description and if i try to use this one so here we are having quantity 7 and also quantity 70 right and also i can also add a, another condition also exist true and also greater than 10 okay i want to get oh sorry i can use description exist true exist true for this description also you can write it and also what i can do is i can also write something like mm, so details dot quantity right so i can use details dot quantity okay so okay, here i can use dollar greater than 10 so now i will get only one the only this book only so if you try to see here so details dot quantity greater than 10 if i try to do this one and here why we are not getting the output is here if you try to observe the quantity is in a value string we never observe this one so the quantity is in the value string 70 string whereas for this quantity the value is in the number so let's try to see i will try to write another scenario in such a way that less than 10 if you try to see here we are able to get a single document okay so and also we can also use the type operator so now we have able to see that some of the books quantity is having a string number let's try to see that which are having the string number so i can use db dot books dot find so here i can use <coughs> details dot quantity okay details dot quantity details dot quantity so i can use dollar type here okay dollar type which is of type string okay which is of type string so we can use this dollar type to find the data type of this one so i want to find all the documents which is having quantity of type string so we have we are able to find only one one thing one file right so if i try to do dot pretty let's try to see the output see here we are able to get one quantity which is having a type string so here if you try to see so if you go here in this type if you try to observe so there, there are so many wide varieties of data types that are supported we already seen in the schema validations those are all data types so number boolean sorry uh, here double value and also boolean date these are decimal 128 these are all the things are supported here so here i have so if you want you can also use the number why because this mongodb shell is supported with the javascript so you can use the number also so if i try to use this one as something like number let's try to see whether we can get the output or not so we are getting all the details which is are having of type number so if you want you can also use the double also double also one and the same only why because this is a javascript shell so now we can use it like this and also what i can do is here you can also give in a such a way that i want to get the double and also the string value so you can use like a multiple combination also so let's try to see the count instead of having this one so if you try to see the count we are getting nine books and here if i try to see oh sorry if i try to see the same thing with a count and we are getting eight books if you try to observe we are getting eight books so this is how we can use the exist operator and also the type operator in using the exist operator we can also use the multiple conditions to find the values so this is all about this exist and the type operator hope you understood about this one so exist operator what it will try to do is exist operator always it will try to see that whether a particular field is present or whatever the doc it will give you try to give all the documents to find that where a particular field is existing or not and also you can see something like for example let's say that um, we are having something like exists right so this is the exists right so where exists is false false means it will try to see that the documents which are not having the description and also the quantity which is having a less than 10 if you try to see the output here so we don't have anything so let's say that less than 50 we will try to do it so now we are able to get some of the details which are not having a description field and also the quantity less than 50 so like this we can use so many combinations to use this whether a particular field is existing or not using the dollar exists operator hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you